All right, somebody asked me a question about a DA, so I'm gonna give you my uh, my opinion on it. These are uh, my two favorite DAs. You can buy cheaper ones. These are probably two of the most expensive ones you can buy. This is what I started out with. This is a Hutchins, and uh, this used to have a handle on it. They make a blue one and a red one. I believe the blue ones are more aggressive. The red ones for finishing. I might be mistaken on that. What they mean by that is there's different oscillation patterns as far as how much it throws uh, this is more of a finishing DA compared to this one this one is uh, animal uh, this is a Dyna braid this is my DA of choice I don't think I could use anything but this uh, the Hutchins has uh, been a really good tool I bought this when I was uh, first getting into the body business probably about 35 years ago and uh, I still have it. It still works just like it did the day I bought it. I did take the handle off of it and I made it into a palm sander somewhere along the lines. Uh, probably when I went into doing the paint stuff. But uh, here's the uh, Dyna braid, and uh, I think this is a much better choice. It fits in your hand better. It's uh, much lighter and it's much more aggressive throw on this one than the uh, Hutchins. This is uh, more for body work, knocking down Bondo and stuff. And this is uh, great for stripping too. You guys was assuming you put 180 on this and strip a hood. You can uh, whack a hood down in about 20 minutes. I'll show you the real advantage of the uh, Dyna braid over the Hutchins though. So we have the uh, scale over here, which is the paint scale. Let's see if I can get that to stay shut for a second. <clears throat> Here's the... Uh, the Hutchins is 1,512 grams, so that's uh, pretty substantial to work with that all day. Uh, you know you know, you were sanding at the end of the day. This, uh, this will definitely cause carpal tunnel uh, after a few years of repetitive use. This is a much better way to go. 725 grams and twice the power. So I'd say a Dyna braid hands down it's probably one of the better DAs you can buy it's not the cheapest one I know some guys have found these on eBay or Amazon for a pretty fair price uh, we do sell them but uh, those are the two choices I would go with they make one of these it's a, a water sand version that has a hose attachment that wets the pad and the pad has holes in it I used to have one of those and uh, like I said Hutchins are the Dyna braid both are really good brands so if you're gonna be in the profession and plan on using them for a while that's the way I would go if you're gonna do a weekend job or something just run up to the Harbor Freight and grab you a, a cheaper DA I will tell you the uh, there's a big difference in the Hutchins and the Dyna braid and the speed in which they sand this is much slower uh, I was trying to get this one to move on its uh, orbit there but I can't get it to move not plugged in or you just can't see you can see the uh, oscillation pattern on that one compared to this one it is much greater so this is a uh, you know much more aggressive uh, throw on this Dyna braid they do make these in fine patterns too if you want them for paint use this is more of a bodywork DA and uh, I knock everything down with the DA then I hit it with the block but I don't start with a block, start sawing on stuff. You want to use this or you want to use the Bondo Eater to get it partially level and then finish it off with a block. Or, you know, you uh, spend a lot of time sanding. But uh, I think the Dyna Braid's the way to go for you. And uh, you won't be disappointed. So, all right, guys, let me shut that off.